Man, I can't believe what y'all people is out doing now, Mikey. My people? Yeah, they ain't my people. Angel, did you know that I have people, my love? Yes, I, Mikey, have people. See that? What are you talking about, Tyrone? You know what I'm talking about, you crack barrel bastard, you. You know something, Tyrone? I think your mama put something in your government cheese when you were a baby. You gringo son of a bitch, hijo de puta. Why you gotta talk about government cheese? Just because you got all that white gringo privilege growing up and whatnot. Cabron. Holy shit. I have tons of white privilege when I'm in Jersey crawling under a house drenched in termiticide. You little tramp, you. Oh my, my, people. People, what are we doing here? What is all this upset and tumult? I just don't understand it. He knows why I'm all mad. His fellow clansmen, they all got dressed up and went out with their little tiki torches and had a little party in Charlottesville. Tiki torches? How gauche. I mean, if you're going to gather in anger, why would you use an innocent little tiki torch? Why not use a Frankenstein torch or a blowtorch or something? But a tiki torch? How completely ludicrous. Julian, it ain't the torches that was the problem. It was all them southern rebel crackers. Now, now, Tyrone, there again, I sometimes like a nice southern man. Hmm. Hmm. Julian, is there any flavor of man you don't like? Actually, let me think about that. No. You see, Tyrone, there's your answer. The whole world has to turn gay. Then apparently, all men will love all other men. Freaky. All y'all people are freaky. Y'all Illuminati people. Freaky deaky. But seriously, can people just take people as they are? I take you exactly as you are, kitten. Mikey. Y'all making me sick up in here. Next thing you know, there's more white people running around. That's how you people keep spreading. Breeders. Here's the truth, Tyrone, you silly little bastard. We're all in this shit together. You better figure that out like quickness, cousin. Because if you don't, it's game over. Yes, we are all in this together. I love each and every one of you. I think I'm going to have a moment. You're kidding me. Right here? Right now? Did you at least bring clean underwear? Mikey! What? Be nice. I'm just asking. My mother always used to tell me to wear clean underwear in case I was in a car accident. I always used to say, oh ma, so what? If I hit a tree doing 60, I'm going to poop my pants anyway. So what's the difference? Mikey, what did she say? Well, after she was finished kicking my face in for a half hour or so, she looked at me and said something I think any 17-year-old kid would listen to. You see, she was very smart. What was that? Well, she said, well, you better wear clean underwear in case somebody wants to see your balls. How are you going to show anybody your balls if your underwear are dirty? Oh, my God. She really said that. Yup, cat. And to this day, kitten, I have the cleanest underwear around. Want to see? No. And nobody wants to see those pitiful little balls you have there either, Mikey. Nobody. Like freaking marbles you have there. Speaking of Tiki Torch, Mikey's itty bitty Tiki Weeky Torchy Warchy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll Tiki Torch you. Hey, it's Mikey here. You want to watch more? Subscribe to our channel and don't forget to share with your friends. Have a great day, dudes. See ya.